a lot of people would see it and think it was a clam because usually mussels are a little bit more elongated. But this is a mussel, and here's a piece of wood that's actually attempting to hold the shells apart so it doesn't totally seal. But what you have to do is take some type of device and just begin basically working it back and forth like so. And sometimes these open up perfectly. You don't have to do very much. They cooperate sometimes. You almost need a wedge. I know you do. Now, what you can do if you have to, you can actually cut the adductor muscle down in here, and that will allow it to open. But I'm going to see if I can use two of these and wedge it open. It may work. It may not. I don't know. But it has a calcium carbonate shell. Right. And sometimes you hear about people, like oysters, will produce pearls. And like an oyster, if it gets an irritant like sand or some material inside of it, that will start to grind on it and it finds that uncomfortable. It'll coat it. So we'll coat it with, with, this calcium, with this calcium carbonate that you see that forms the shell until you produce a pearl. Now, one thing I never do until I actually saw it on an old rerun of Perry Mason. They were trying to determine the difference in natural pearls and cultured pearls. Now, natural pearl, if you x-ray it, there will usually be an asymmetrical piece of something inside of it that they begin to coat with the calcium carbonate to relieve the, the, the irritation. And a cultured pearl, it's usually something they you put have. a little glass bead in it, and it's perfectly symmetrical. And if you x-ray it, you can see that. That's cool. So you see the shell here. This material here yeah. is part of the mantle, and the mantle actually secretes the shell. And the mantle also, in, in mollusks, can serve as a structure that can um, be, be involved with respiration. It has different functions that it can actually have. But this secretes the shell. If you look here, this really tough material here on the bottom that you should stick straight down like that, that's the muscular foot. Okay. And it's very, very hard. Now, well, that we, would be what, how it burrows into the... That's how it burrows, burrows and moves. Now, if we pull this up a little bit, these structures here, that's the gills. And there's usually several layers of gills. So if we sort of repeat, you had the shell. Here's the mantle sticking to the shell. See this structure here? There's one on either side, one adductor muscle, and here's the other. Now we can see these gills, but something I wanted to show you that's up here towards the top. Over here, do you see, if I pull the gill up a little bit, do you see what looks like a tubular structure? Yeah. That's part of the intestine. And then up above it, there's like a clear fluid-filled space in here, and that's actually what's called the coelom. Okay. And the coelom has fluids, and it's usually under pressure. This dark area up here, just above where that coelom is, is the heart. Okay. So what the heart does is pumps blood or pumps fluids into the coelom, which is fairly small and just surrounds the heart, and you don't see that blood moving through the whole body, typically. But just to summarize, shell, calcium carbonate, mantle that secretes the shell. Can you, can you see that? Adductor muscles here and here that open the shell. You can see the muscular foot here. It's ventral, so it's on the bottom. And then up above it is the visceral mass. And the visceral mass on the top would include parts of the intestine, which you can see here, and the heart. And so this would all be dorsal. It would be sort of line. Whoops. It would be sort of line at the top. And the foot, sorry, 
would be towards the bottom. So again, if you look at this, you can see the layers of the gills. See the gills? And the muscular foot again. And again, if we rotate this towards the top, you can see parts of the intestine making their way through there. And then there's a chamber up here at the very top that's fluid filled in the heart, like the oracle and the ventricle would be in this region. And you can also see a, a large part of the intestine coming off here as well. See that tubular portion? Yeah. So that's your muscle.